Hello my YouTube friends. If you're a sob subscriber, no I did not get rid of them. If you're an OG subscriber, you probably understand my passion for motorcycles and kind of where my channel actually started was with motorcycles. I love quirky cars like sobs and especially quirky motorcycles like Buells. I've owned multiple variations of Buells throughout the years. Unfortunately, I did sell my 2014 EBR 1190RX a couple years ago. And, well, fortunately, this past weekend, I picked up this 09 1125R for extremely cheap. Now, it does have the stator issue, like just about all of these have. It does actually have the updated EBR rotor on there, but I think the previous owner actually butchered that install. I took a peek in there. It was rather chewed up. I just kind of put it back to place just so it didn't leak all the oil out. And I ordered a new Rick Stator. So I do have parts on order for this thing. Now, I will have more sob stuff coming up if you're interested in that. But for the time being, I'm going to have some Buell content. This bike actually has less than 6,000 miles on it. I can get this thing going here. 5,064 miles. Insane. <laughs> newer tires, newer battery from Harley Davidson. Overall, in really great condition. Extremely factory. I actually removed the reflectors, had the big old weird reflectors back here. I got a tidy tail for that. Everything else is pretty much stock. Now, this is kind of boogered up a bit. Now these get kind of gross just from the typical clutch weep they get, but I do have a replacement puck on order. I think actually I'll get that later today in the mail. But overall this bike is in extremely good condition, minus the stator issue. But I'm actually going to be tearing it apart today. What we'll be doing is installing these parts right here. By these parts, that is from an 1125CR, this being the R, the full fairing. My previous 1125 I had was the CR, all this junk removed. So I absolutely love that kind of naked style bike. So I'll be dismantling all of this stuff up here today, hopefully fitting all of these parts on here. Now, as far as parts, I actually ordered a ton of brand new stuff that I'm awaiting today from St. Paul Holly Davidson. And then right after go figure I make that order, I found somebody on face space selling a bunch of CR parts so I picked up a high bar kit the cables for that I'm not sure if I'll be able to retain the R brake and clutch braided cables I don't know yet obviously I'll put the uh, throttle tube on here but I got a headlight white front windscreen eventually I think I would like to convert the whole bike to the white scheme but for now, I'll just stick with the black. I do have a new black one from St. Paul Harley Davidson, the 1125CR headlight, which is straight up unobtainium these days, discontinued that I cannot get anywhere brand new. Does come with the harness. I do need to get a new bulb for that. There's a little bit of junk in here that I can clean out, but overall that's in pretty good shape. Came with a lock set, not in the best condition but it does come with a matching gas cap and the rear tailpiece. But you can see here, it's a little boogered up in there. But I actually have a new lock set from a older Buell XB, brand new from St. Paul Harley Davidson. Actually, it's rather reasonably priced these days for this stuff, but gas cap, the actual lock cylinder, two keys, the key card, and the rear latch deal right there. So I'll likely use the XB stuff. I have some other random parts in here. This is for the stator. Uh, tidy tails in here. Crank lock tool. When I go to do the stator, I'll do the rotor nut as well. So yeah, I have a ton of parts. So let's go ahead and start disassembly. Starters, we're going to keep it easy. We're going to remove this smoked windscreen.
Get these mirrors removed. 13 mil. And since these have the integrated turn signals built into them, we need to figure out where the electrical connector is and remove those. One mirror moved. Next up, we got to remove the T30 Torx screw. There's one on this side and one on the exact same opposing side, and I think that should release this upper fairing. in really good shape. It's kind of amazing how easy this thing is to disassemble to get to this point. I mean at this stage that's all the bolts that we remove with the majority of those just being for that smoked windscreen. But look at this now that exposes the fairing stay. At this stage it looks like a triumph speed triple with the headlights sticking out like that but it's kind of amazing looks like there's six bolts to remove this R headlight housing, four up top, another two underneath. Got one right there, another one right there. And then that should give us room to take this out and disconnect the wiring harness, which honestly might be able to just do right here ahead of time. So we'll get that disconnected, remove this headlight assembly and then we should be on to probably the gauge cluster and then this fairing stay and then if you're wondering as far as parts all these parts i will actually be listing on my ebay account i will link it in the description so i'll clean this stuff up i'll go over it make sure i know any flaws yes this stuff is obviously used so it will have some light scuffs and scratches but any obvious damage, I will definitely make a note of that in the listing. But again, if you're interested in that stuff, I'll link it in the description for my eBay account. And uh, you can go ahead and check that stuff out. So we'll continue on, remove these headlight housings. These are a five millimeter Allen. We'll go ahead and remove these. Already have the electrical connector removed so now we just need to remove these last two five millimeter bolts and this whole assembly should easily remove. Now gonna remove the gauge cluster with this eight millimeter ratchet. Looks like there is three bolts for this and I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna remove this electrical connector if it's up here or down farther. Luckily I caught that, but I was not expecting this thing to go flying. So all you have to do is push in this tab right here. That releases the instrument cluster. Push that stuff down. And I think we have two bolts near the neck here that will remove this fairing stay. So it's going to be hard to see what's going on here, but there's two 13 millimeter bolts with two six millimeter Allen heads. So we're gonna start off by trying to break these 13 millimeter nuts loose. 
if I can get in there. Their two millimeter nut, the washer removed. Okay, the lower fairing stay Allen bolt removed. Really like to retain the zip tie because it does kind of clip into this fairing stay. However, I just cannot get it loose. So, fortunately, I'm gonna cut it. This thing is in great shape. No damage whatsoever. Looks like there are some spidey friends in there. That is kind of gross. So that is going to wrap it up on today's video of the introduction as well as the whole front end disassembly of my Buell 2009 1125R. Quite honestly, it didn't take that much time. Certainly didn't take any special tools up to this point. You do have to remove a lot of bolts, but it definitely could be worse. So there's more to come on the next one. We're going to be removing this upper triple tree from the R, this handlebar assembly. Hopefully all of this stuff is long enough. I have a feeling the front brake hose, that's gonna be too short. Fortunately, the clutch line right here, it does have a lot of slack in it, so I'm hoping that is enough. I don't know as far as the electrical stuff for the brake light switch there. You know, all of this stuff, I'm not sure if that's gonna be long enough or if I'll have to extend that, but I'll find that out in the next episode. Well, as the ignition, which takes some big security Torx bolts there, so. You'll definitely need some form of a specialty security torque socket for that. But if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Definitely consider subscribing, whether you're into quirky cars or quirky motorcycles. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, drop a comment down below. Or if you just want to say hi, I'd love to hear from you. That being said, I appreciate you watching, and I'll catch your friends next time.